Rebecca from Art Resin here to talk to you today about epoxy resins and how Art Resin epoxy resin is different from all the rest. So Art Resin epoxy resin, as it sounds, it's made for art purposes. It's made for artists to use at home. Years ago, David and I were using some of the other products that were on the market and we found out the hard way that not all epoxy resins are created equal. Most epoxy resins will yellow very quickly and most epoxy resins are terrible for your health. So Art Resin is our proprietary formula and the two things that we prioritized in making this formula were that it stay clear for the long term on top of the artwork, keeping it beautiful of course, and to protect our health because artists like to work in their studio and at home and making sure that it had no VOCs and fumes is a really important thing. And that is what Art Resin today has to offer. So let's talk about these non-yellowing properties. First of all, you should know that UV light damage has terrible effects on epoxy resin. It will turn it yellow in no time. And to mitigate that, you need a light stabilizer, a UV light stabilizer. And it does other things such as protecting against gloss loss and it protects against delamination. Um, when it comes to the non-yellowing, it will only delay it for a period of time, unless you have a hindered amine light stabilizer which is what Art Resin offers. So those two things paired together in the formula give great insurance against UV light damage. Now one thing to mention for all of you artists out there who like to make cells with silicone oil is that silicone oil will actually yellow your resin over time. It's oil and even though it makes beautiful effects in the short term, it can cause yellowing in the long term. Just something to be aware of. Our second priority is the health concerns. So epoxy resins are expensive to manufacture in that the raw materials are not cheap. To mitigate this, a lot of manufacturers will put filler into the product and filler does not bond in the chemical reaction. So whereas the raw materials all line up creating strong bonds that are locked into that formula once it's cured, the filler does not bond and so there's nowhere for it to go and it comes up into the air in the form of fumes, volatile organic compounds, nasty stuff that will wreak havoc with your health and your respiratory system. You don't want that. And so Art Resin has no filler, no solvents, everything bonds perfectly together so there are no fumes, there are no VOCs, and basically your health is totally protected. Whereas other products require a respirator, Art Resin does not. And we've had this evaluated by an ASTM board certified toxicologist making sure that this is the case and no respirator needed. So even though Art Resin contains no solvents, some artists actually elect to put solvent into the mixture in the form of alcohol ink. Why? Because it's beautiful. And it's not such an issue when you're looking at petri dish art or when you're doing small jewelry in silicone molds. And especially it's no issue if you're doing alcohol ink on UPO paper and coating it with Art Resin afterward. No issue there whatsoever. It's more of an issue when people are using a large amount of alcohol ink in a big batch of art resin, stirring that all up, then you're really compromising that non-toxicity that we're so proud of. And of course, you would have flammability issues around that as well because alcohol is flammable. So just something to be aware of and something to be careful about. So I hope that all this detailed information will give you the confidence and the comfort to know that when you're using art resin, it will protect your artwork for the long term and it'll protect your health. And that's it. So from one artist to another, be creative and have fun.